Welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach and session musician and today we're going to be listening to Love Sucks, the new album by Avril Lavigne. I've been particularly looking forward to this record because of the single Bite Me, which I feel just, I don't know, was like Avril from 10 years ago but in a real current way and oh it made me so so happy and excited for this record so even though there are quite a few songs it's actually well 12 songs it's actually only 33 minutes long this record so i'm guessing a lot of these songs are going to be short sharp punchy little numbers uh let's find out let's have a listen let's see what's going on musically and lyrically and just see if Bite Me is like where this album is heading or if it just goes off in a completely different direction. Here we go, Cannonball. Oh. Oh, whoa. Yeah, no, straight away it's, it's Avril on like a thousand Avril's. So Avril. <laughs> oh, the distortion on her vocal. Can you hear how there's her lead vocal and then lots of different layers of vocals um, stacked on top? So it's kind of double tracking, but it's not perfect. It's done so in a way where there's like a melody and then a spoken vocal. I don't know, it gives it this really cool effect, especially with the distortion. Oh, that break in the drums was cool. Yeah, so you have this da 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 with the bass and then the drums, like, taking that gap as well. Um, super simple melody, but I can tell this one's going to get stuck in our heads. Da, 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 da. That is instantly hooky. <laughs> that is, ooh. Yeah, so <laughs> it starts to make you feel a little sick. <laughs> Great lyric. Um, so you hear that, da, 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 like that drone note underneath. That's interesting as a layer. Ooh. So, what I realise actually is that it almost gives it a half time feel with the drums changing up here because of the gaps. Because you get this like. So it's like this thing, um, but without giving up the relentlessness of the drum pattern. Like a Nice layering with the vocals. Woo! Oh! The drums there are kind of like um, almost muted, like taken back in the mix. I assume so that they can come front and centre now. Yes, that's how it should end. Yes. Okay. Let's see what this one's like. So like almost a continuation, not of the relentlessness necessarily, but the, the levels and the distortion and everything and the instrumental choices going into this. This is that note from the guitar. You've got a sharp tongue like a laser blade. Razor blade? Laser blade? Razor blade. <laughs> oh! Acoustic guitar. Oh, it's Boys Lie. I purposefully didn't announce the title of this one because I was like, Boys Lie? Where? Boys? Boys. Boys Lie. Mm hmm. He's got such a cool tone and it really suits Avril's as well, like together I feel like they could harmonise really nicely. Oh, unison though. Ooh, the... Oh, that's okay. 
Um, by the way, I've got the hiccups. So if I look like I'm bouncing, it's because I'm trying to get rid of my hiccups. The delay there's cool. <laughs> yeah, so um, hooky. I feel like these songs are going to continue to grow on me. They definitely have a nostalgic feel. Am I alone in feeling that? Bye, me. It's so good. This one definitely has this like nostalgic feeling. I love the way she opens out her vocal. Ah, yeah. That is so Avril as well. That's such an Avril stamp. Oh, she has so many iconic vocal things that are just her. All that hi-hat work here. And it's cool how you have this halftime feel again at the beginning of the chorus and then it's like back to this, you know? Oh, I just love it so much. And then this. It's just so cool. I think there's something about that thing where it builds a tension and so it makes it gritty. It gives it that nostalgic feeling through the grit. And the little gaps there are cool. Um, and that lyric, gave you the one chance, don't you don't get it twice, um, I think is really cool. And then layers of vocals. Yes. Ah, now this is our first foray into something a little bit different. Um, each of those songs have had a real rocky, punky pop edge. And then suddenly we've got a little bit of a, a hint of um, synthy stuff going on at the beginning of Love It When You Hate Me, which is cool. Oh, but there is that palm to guitar. <laughs> Woo, the way this bass. That phase in there is cool, isn't it? Yeah, the lyrics here, don't call me baby, I love it when you hate me. I don't know how I feel about this in terms of like, is Avril trying to say she kind of revels in relationships that don't work? I think so, I know it's crazy. Oh, that breaks cool. You see that particular melody as well. I don't know, there's something about this that just feels like Avril is just in her element. You could almost um, mega mix this one with Do you know what I mean? It could be a cool, like, uh, remix. There's that delay as well. <laughs> Love sucks. Title track. Um, great first line, are we having fun yet? But the way she delivered it was like, are we having fun yet? <laughs> but those drums, listen to those drums. Oh, now we've got a little ding, 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 ding piano, um, but just that dun -dun on the guitar, that kind of aggressive pop. I don't know, like aggressive, expressive pop. There we go. Pointing a term. You make me nauseous. Wow. Oh, I like this. Take out the instrumentation. Build it back up. nauseous when I think of you I just want to throw up. Avril does not hold back with her lyrics and she gives you that ability to get out things that maybe other singers just wouldn't say in their songs. Avril says it. She gives you a voice in that respect. Suck, 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 suck. <laughs> I like that delivery. Nothing else left to say. 
um, da -da 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 how the drums change there as well, just to highlight this section, but keep it on that one note, that one chord. The layers, the layers. Kind of almost rubato at the end. Why does love suck? The slowing down to the end. I like it. Okay, and um, kiss me like the world is ending. Ooh. Ooh. There we go again with that. Just like me, like the the layers of vocals, but not not just double tracking so that it's um, the same vocal perfectly stacked one on top of each other. It's this emphasis on let's have some shouting vocals, let's have a different melody, let's have, you know, some different ways of, of giving out that vocal and layer them all together and make this huge sound. Oh, I like that. Kiss, break, me, break. And that chord, um, hang on, let's just find out what, what that was. Like the world is ending. So it's having, instead of having the um, the root the, of the chord, so that first note of the chord on the bass, they've got the fifth on the bass, we call that a second inversion. So they're just having to drop that bass note down by one semitone and it gives a really nice effect. And that synth is following that melody in a nice way as well. Like the world is oh, 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 I like this. I thought that was gonna be the end of the chorus, but I like this extended bit. Kiss me. Yes. Yes, Avril. Now here we're getting to hear a little bit of a different side of Avril's vocal there. Ah, that soft side of her vocal and where we've had so many punchy vocals within this record so far, it's nice to hear this side of her all of a sudden. In the backing vocals there. <laughs> underneath you had that real clash but it was gorgeous i think that's my favorite so far avalanche oh have we got a ballad i can't tell mm, so we're getting more of this vocal again so we had a bit of a introduction to the softer side of avril in the backing vocals of the previous track and now a little bit more coming through in the lead Listen to how the guitar underneath. Is it the guitar and the synth? Well, anyway, it's following the da, 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 in her melody nicely. Oh, this is gonna be my favorite! Oh my goodness! This is what Avril does best in terms of these kind of emotive songs. She does this like no one else. And listen to all of the tom tom work. So good. Reverse. But still kind of. Okay, wow. This has totally taken a turn where I didn't think it would because I, I really thought it was going to be like the I'm with you moment on this record, but maybe we're not going to have one of those. Maybe this is like how Avril expresses her ballady type tracks now. It's that melody. I don't feel alright on the inside. Going down there, gorgeous. And here's 
another example of where we have the synth kind of following her vocal, her melody, um, really pushes the point of the melody home. Um, having that, tss, tss, the the snare hits and everything, and oh, everything drums wise in this track is so important to the expression of the whole thing take out the drums it completely changes it i mean it would change it anyway but they're just so key in this listen to that as well that's super high for me <laughs> but that was cool okay deja vu Woo! every time i think oh maybe this is going to be like a ballad track it just goes straight in Does that mean that we're having the chorus first? Yes. So that's a really clever way of just getting that melody into your head straight away. So when the second chorus comes, it almost feels like it's the first chorus because you've just got past the first verse, um, but you already know the chorus, chorus melody and whew, it's in there. It's a half time thing again. <laughs> Uh, excuses, yeah, I heard them all. She's had it up! Ooh, I like this part. Gosh, she likes writing in her G flat major. I see this. This is the wah wah kind of phaser thing. This is that bomb bomb thing at the top. <laughs> yeah, so many layers of vocals there. This album is relentless, isn't it? Da -da -da. Wait, we have just had that deja vu in the previous track and then here that guitar does a da -da -da. coincidence i think not tracks written about the same person listen to that ride symbol wow oh 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 my goodness Okay, this is so cool. This is so cool. The arrangement is so good. So like uplifting, even though the drag is. Ah. Okay, so where I thought it was gonna be, well, it's just clever, isn't it? In terms of the title and what she's actually saying. Yeah. You know. Oh, whoa, 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 listen to that. It's like a military march. No, it's um that rumbling, the, the snare roll. You know, um, the dynamic build within that means that you can release out into a huge explosion of production. Huh? <laughs> Even that laugh at the end there had like a thing on it. Very, very well produced. Okay, all I wanted was dream mark. <sighs> the drums <sighs> it's like you know every song is like I don't know how else to explain it <laughs> <laughs> this is like a another octave unison thing going on so this album isn't about harmonies as it is about emphasizing one melody and the punchiness of that melody another one of these whoa, things so um as mark's singing underneath you can hear those drums like having that effect on again where it almost sounds like they're in another room you know <laughs> but 
it, I, to me, it's such a cool thing to utilize in terms of effects because then it means the next section, whatever that may be, if you then open out the drums, take off the effect, suddenly everything mix wise just goes, poof, it's so powerful. Like that. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, so another example of great arrangement where I'm being taken by surprise. There it is. Oh, and we had that harmony. Oh, that I want it was you. So just when I'm talking about not having harmonies, there's a harmony. Dare to love me. Ballad. By the way, the reason why I really want an Avril ballad is because she does them so well and vocally we just get to hear this different side of her. So that's why I'm desperate for an Avril ballad. such avril delivery here um, the straight vocal you know we don't need vibrato it's all about the straight vocal and the uh, the graveliness and nice chord changes if you don't believe it. can you hear there's like a i think a chorus effect on otherwise they've done the double tracking where it's perfectly lined up perfectly in sync is this going to open out I thought it might. There we go. Still got those Tom Tom drum fills. <laughs> Still not letting them go. There's another mix, like the strings, just kind of gently rumbling underneath, but coming out to the forefront whenever they're needed to emphasize something. Like that chamber string thing. Don't think I missed that, Avril. I heard it. Oh, now we've got this lovely ding 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 tinkling effect as well. Just had a phone call, so my camera cut out, but here we are, starting again. Ooh, that's there it is. There's all those lovely cries on the ends of some of Avril's vocals. Last track. Straight back into that relentless uh, everything pattern. <laughs> So then you have that just sudden or slight break in the rhythmical pattern and so instead of this dun, 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 I don't know, that change that gives you a moment of respite even though it's still like go 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 <laughs> Now you can hear the guitar. It's almost like an alarm sound. Build, 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 build. That's another. Oh, almost missed the end of the, the whole record. <laughs> oh, and the next track that Spotify is trying to play to me is Complicated by Avril Lavigne. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that album is relentlessly punchy, hooky, expressive, 
angst pop. That's what I'd say. <laughs> Minus one track, dare to love me. Let me know what you thought of this particular record. Is it your favourite Avril? What do you think about the production, the songwriting, the lyrics? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here. And you can of course find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield and links to all my various services are in the description box down below. And I'll see you again very soon. I'm off to listen to some more Avril Lavigne. Bye.